to my sister. Beats me. Could be anyone. Bing. Hey, 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 pal, stay away from that. That's police business now. And besides, buddy, did I hear you say a thing? You know, a thing is a, an inanimate object, like a table or a tape dispenser. I don't think it's uh, too likely one of those is going to come to life and suddenly kill someone. It's a thing like an animal. Unless it was a paper thing. She got killed after taking a shower. Nah, better just get wet. Never mind Miss, did your sister have any enemies? Well, we're both adopted, but what kind of enemies? Oh, I don't know, uh, the kind that might enter her home and tear her limb from limb after a shower. <laughs> her sister did not have any enemies. She drove us up here for college and just fell in love with the place. She barely even knew anyone here. So, you're saying it's a random disembowel? <laughs> No idea. Yeah, it's baffling. Oh, why? Why? <laughs> I don't know. That's what we're trying to find out, Miss. Okay, Anna. The police are here. They'll find whoever did this to your sister. But what if they don't, Stephen? What if they don't and more women are killed? How many adopted sisters do you have? I just had one, Officer Landis. I just had one. Mrs. Johnson, you've racked up quite the bicycle repair bill indeed. Oh dear, my husband isn't home and I have no money in the house. However, am I going to pay you? It ain't cheap, pumping up tires. Oh, I know, have you been pumping professionally for a while now? Oh yes, I have. I guess I'm just in need of a good pumping. Really? When does your husband get out? He won't be home for a while now. He's off at war. So, he's pumping some action up there, is he? I guess you could say he's not seen any action in a long time. I hear you have a massive tool. Baby, I am a massive tool. <gasps> Let's pork. <gasps> Uh-oh, Rings, what's up, buddy? What the hell is that? The nice movie. It's called Prelude to a Porno. So now Late Night Classics is showing whacking material? What happened to, you know, monster movies, horror movies, scary movies, movies about gigantic mutants, movies about psychopaths with machetes, movies about, you know, ill-advised space journeys to planets full of voluptuous, yet remarkably, for some reason, very chaste Amazonian women. You talked about this, Riggs, the average guy coming home from the club at 2 a.m. He doesn't care about space monsters anymore. Yeah, 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 grow, adapt, change, blah, blah, blah. It's a pile of pig crap, Charlie. I'm cashing out. But Riggs, Riggs, Mr. Deirdre, we're in the middle of a live show on location. You just can't leave. <laughs> this is not entertainment, Charlie, okay? I've been doing this show for a long time. Ever since... Ever since you and Mr. Dearden started. Mimsy. Her name was Mimsy. And don't ever say her name. Don't say Mimsy. Don't say Mim. Don't say C. Don't say Mim and C together. Okay? She's dead to me. Ever since she left me three years ago, she's dead to me. So is this show. But, Mr. Dearden, we're in the middle of a show. She's dead, and so is this show. I'm gonna go get a drink. Or a 17. Back to late night classics, Rig Zeering, your host. He went out for a, a box of wine, so we can all have wines. Yeah, because there's a lot of wine in a box, like ten or more wine. Uh, Jesus Christ! Some, 
somebody want to get me a box of wine? Somehow I don't think this is dog's hair. Well, what kind of hair is it? And you're right, it, it can't be dog's hair. Beverly plain fucking hated them. No, this is something else entirely. <laughs> 